I've dove with this dry suit probably 15 times here in the Puget Sound and I couldn't figure out why my left arm was getting wet. I finally, I, well, I spotted this leak before, or I, I spotted this little tiny imperfection, it, you know, I thought it was just a, a piece of thread missing in the outer liner, but um, after continually getting wet, I sort of thing, I, I really didn't think that water was getting through there. I thought that was watertight, but what I finally did to confirm that it was uh, leaking is I just put my mouth around it and I sucked and blowed and actually um, can tell that it's not water or airtight. So what I'm going to do is um, use some aqua seal with accelerator and a syringe and from the other side I'm going to put a little aqua seal in there. Um, I'm going to put some parchment paper, paper and tape it on to protect it on this side from going anywhere else. But uh, I actually talked to the guys at USIA. This is how they recommended to do it. And um, they said to get enough of the aqua seal through the hole and onto the fibers on this side to uh, and that'll help uh, keep it in place and, and make the bond. So here we go. I'm just gonna put this over here. And I'm gonna turn the suit inside out. When I turn the suit inside out, I can actually see the little pinhole right there. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. Uh, right there, it's just tiny. Um, where, the, where the camera is? I can't see. Uh, maybe you can't see that. But um, you know, turning the suit inside out and having to kind of make sure the tape doesn't uh, come out of place on the inside, so that I can feel it there. And I'm going to mix up the uh, aqua seal and hardener. Well, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little acetone, which this nail polish is acetone. So I'm going to clean the area first with acetone. I'm just going to use a drop on a Q-tip and uh, clean that area right around there. And then I'm just going to dry that off. So I'm just going to puncture puncture this a little, little drop in this plastic tray that's way too much a little, little drop in this plastic tray that's way too much but uh, way too much of that And I'm just going to stir this around until it gets pretty liquid. Right, so I got this mixed up over here in the corner. And hopefully that's enough to actually pick up with the syringe, even though it's more than enough, I think, for the patch. Uh, I'm just going to get this down here. Sorry if you can't see this. Wipe the tip of this down. I think I got a little, a little too much on there. And then what I'm gonna do is just get right up against the pinhole and try to push some through there. Uh, 
a lot of air in there. that and brush this down a little little flat here and I'm just gonna let that sit as flat as possible and hopefully that uh, that works <laughs> 